installation of the Eurosense Dominator fuel level sensor. Dominator series fuel level sensors are used to measure the level of fuel in vehicle tanks, as well as in stationary tanks. The sensors are designed to minimize the cost of maintenance of the remote fuel consumption monitoring system over the entire period of its operation. The procedure for installing the Eurosense Dominator sensors and calibrating the tank has a number of features. Using quick detachable bayonet mounting instead of screwing the sensor directly to the tank. Electrodes are separated from the measuring module. You can skip the sensor calibration procedure after trimming. The sensor is supplied in the following configuration. Sensor with measuring electrode, cable and mounting kit. The measuring electrodes are of two types, S1 and S2. Electrodes of type S2 have two threaded couplings and are used to increase the measuring length of the sensor in the required quantity. Electrode type S1 has one threaded coupling and is always in the sensor, but only one. In the simplest case, the sensor has only one type S1 electrode. Each of the types of electrodes can be manufactured with a length of 700 mm, 1 m or 1 m, 500 mm. Thus, we can easily combine electrodes to obtain the required measuring length. For installation, you will need USB adapter destination 02 or 02 light. Please note that the sensor is configured via the car line interface, thus using adapters to connect other fuel level sensors to the PC via RS-232, RS-485 interfaces will not work. Fuel storage tank and pump with meter for fuel tank calibration. Toolkit drill and drilling bore with a diameter of 38 mm. To calibrate the fuel tank, it must be empty. Use a pump and tank to store drained fuel. Check whether there is access to the fuel tank for drilling and installing the sensor. In some cases, you will need to remove the fuel tank. We recommend finding out the possibility of access to the fuel tank even before leaving for installation. Choose a place to install the sensor. It is advisable to choose it in the geometric center of the tank. At the same time, it is necessary to make sure that there are no partitions inside the tank at the installation site and whether the path of the standard fault sensor with the Eurosense dominated electrodes does not intersect. Drill the hole for Eurosense dominator sensor. Choose the direction of the sensor connector after installation. Drill holes. The bayonet can be fastened with screws or with bolts and a special key that can be ordered from us. Install two gaskets. Install a large flat gasket between the tank and the bayonet mount. We recommend doing the final tightening of the screws manually to avoid thread ripping. Measure the tank height at the place of installation. The sensor is cut, so there is a gap between the bottom end of the electrode and the bottom of the tank. A bottom stop reinforces the sensor mount, but installing it increases the dead zone at the bottom of the tank by 1 cm. We can use sensors without bottom stop on fuel tanks of low height, up to 500 mm. Cut the electrodes with a hoxel. If we set the bottom stop, this gap should be equal to 20 mm. Without installation of a bottom stop, 10 mm. After cutting, it is, a, it is necessary to clean the edges of the electrodes and remove metal particles. Set bottom stop. When the bottom stop is installed, the sensor should stand on the bottom stop after immersion in the tank 
and the distance between the bottom plane of the case and the tank should be 10-15 mm. In the absence of a bottom stop, the sensor should fall fully on the bayonet plate without touching the bottom of the tank. Before installing the sensor in the tank and calibrating the tank, we recommend wetting its electrode with diesel fuel. To do this, you can turn the sensor and pour fuel into the space between the electrodes. Install the rubber gasket into the bayonet groove. Put the sensor in the tank. With a small effort, we press it to the bayonet and turn it clockwise until it stops. In this case, the profile of the body must match the profile of the bayonet. Now we proceed to the procedure of, for calibrating the tank. We can use either our own pump with a meter or a fuel at a gas station. Before starting the calibration, we recommend checking the correctness of the counter with the help of a measuring cylinder. Connect the sensor to the laptop and run the Eurosense Dominator User Configurator configuration software. Go to the Terran mode and delete all existing points. Check that the tank is empty before starting the calibration. At the first point, which will correspond to an empty tank. Add the first batch of fuel to the tank, you can specify the dose volume manually in the configurator, or set it to automatically increase. Pay attention to the detector readings. After they become stable, click Add Record. After that, pour the next batch into the tank. Thus, we will fill the entire tank to full condition. Note that the volume column is the volume of the added dose not the total amount of the fuel in the tank. The sum of the numbers in the volume column should be equal to the volume of the tank. After the calibration is complete, it will be saved the table to a file. If you will have to replace sensor, you will not have to recalibrate it. It will be enough to use a new electronic module with a loaded calibration table complete with old electrodes. Sensor calibration is not necessary if we store the tank calibration into the sensor memory. Setup of the Eurosense Dominator Arrest Center. After connection, you will see the sensor details. How sensors operate, you can see at the current state tab. Detector value, internal frequency of sensor. This value changes with fuel level. Temperature value is measured by built-in sensor in the electrodic module. Value N, main output value of the sensor. This is what GPS tracker will receive. Fuel volume is calculated by default 10 Terran 10 calibration table stored in the memory. Now open main configuration tab. Digital output sensor parameters are grouped at the lower part of the tab. Some extra settings. Do not restrict the range. What does it mean? Minimal and maximal value from sensor can be modified. By default it is 1. 1023 range, but we can see that sensor output value now is zero and fuel volume negative. In the sensor calibration tab, we can see that actual detector value is much below the lowest detector value in the calibration table. So, sensor tries to show the value below the minimum value. We switch off this option. And now sensor output is strictly limited to the range 1, 1023. Temperature compensation features allows you to recalculate fuel volume according to the temperature. 
We place temperature sensor as close to the electrodes as possible, but anyway, since it does not know the exact fuel temperature. Averaging is smoothing parameter. Greater value means more smooth data. Before sensor, 10 calibrations do not set up big values, because it will take a longer time to calibrate. Diff filter. Great option. Smart level processing when sensor automatically decreases averaging constant immediately when refueling or fuel safety event is occurred. It improves the precision of detection. Dominator RS also provides extra messages and LLC protocol to the GPS tracker, fuel safety alarm. Sensor will detect these events and you can set up the criteria. Note that GPS tracker must support this function extra message about fuel theft. In the digital output settings you can choose the interface of communication RS-232 or RS-485. Sometimes Caline interface is used, for example for edit mode. Communication via RS-232, RS-485 and Caline can be done by LLC or Modbus protocol. Option of the extra terminator resistor built in can be used at long RS-485 cables, more than 15 meters. Usually GPS trackers may request for sensor data and sensor replies. For such communication we can set output off, sensor waiting for the request. Sometimes GPS trackers are waiting for sensor message with given time interval. In that case, we can choose the type of protocol and time interval of the message. Data transmission speed is usually 19,200, but you can change it if GPS tracker requires it. TMC address, address of GPS tracker in the RS-485 network. In 99,99% cases you have only one GPS tracker and network, so you can leave ignore option on. FLS address, address of the sensor in the RS-485 network. If you connect several sensors to the RS-485 interface, remove ignore FLS option and set up unique addresses for them, for example 1, 2, 3, 4. Minimal and maximal value. Limits of the output sensor value. You can set up as you need. Do not forget to save configuration data. Adder option is used when you need to connect several sensors to single RS-232 interface. In that case, one of the sensors can work as an adder and gather volume information from other sensors. Adder network can be organized via RS-485 or car line. To use adder mode, all sensors in the network must have tank terrain table stored in the memory for correct calculation. At software update tab, you can update the sensor firmware or restore the default factory settings of the sensor. After setting up the sensor, it is necessary to connect it to the GPS tracker or display. The sensor is supplied with a 7 meter cable. If you need to connect several cables to a network, you can use special T cables avoiding direct connection of wires. By request, the cable can be made in a protective plastic corrugation. But the usual PVC insulation is enough since we use electrical cables according to the specifications of automotive manufacturers. The description of the cable wires is indicated in the passport, which is a part of the set of each sensor. It is recommended to make a common power connection point and minus of the sensor and GPS tracker. The signal wires of the sensor are connected to the corresponding inputs of the terminal. After installation is complete, the level sensor must be sealed from the tank and cable removed. For this, there are matching holes in the corners of the sensor and bayonet housing. Through them, the sealing rope is passed. There is a hole for sealing in the cable connector. This one seal is enough, but you can install two seals too. Eurosense fuel level sensors can be used with Eurosense display. 
It displays readings of up to 10 level sensors. The same display can be used to install your Sense Dominator sensors without using a laptop to display the sensor signal and make sensor calibration. To install sensors on cylindrical tanks, we advise you to use shaped gaskets that we have in stock. When installing level sensors in large fuel storages, we can't make the fuel tank calibration but its usual way, because we need too much fuel for it. In this case, we can help you with the calculation of the calibration table using three-dimensional reconstruction method. The customer is required to provide the most accurate dimensions of the tank as well as its tilt angle. Thank you for your attention.